what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Mad world we live in. A Missouri man has been charged with statutory sodomy of a one-year-old, but not before the child's pa got a chance to put those paws on him. Jason Newland, a 26-year-old family friend who was babysitting for friends, was caught in the act inappropriately touching the child while he was pleasuring himself. This after being left alone with the child for just 10 to 15 minutes, according to local media. Court records show that the mother and the father left Newland to babysit their daughter while they went to the store. After they realized they had forgotten their WIC folder, which contains vouchers that help families, low-income families, to buy food for children, they returned home. The mother walks into the house. She realizes that Newland is nowhere around. He's not on the couch where he was when she left. So she goes in further. She sees the door to her child's room open. She walks in and that's where she catches him in the act. He's touching on the child and, you know, he masturbates. She goes out, she rushes out the door to tell the father. The father comes in, grabs a dresser drawer and starts to commence to beating the hell out this fool. At this point, a neighbor steps in to intervene. Otherwise, who knows what would have happened. Now, this Jason Newland dude is in jail right now on a $250,000 bond. Probably not getting out anytime soon. Why do we start with this? The first question that comes to my mind is, I'm sure the same one that came to you guys is mine. And that is, why in the hell would anyone leave their baby with a 26-year-old man? That doesn't make sense. Man, I don't trust my kids with nobody. Especially a non-biological male. Hell no. That's crazy. That's been scientifically proven to be a no-no. Hell, you can't even trust some biological males. Not even some, but many. You can't even trust many biological males. The hell would leave that baby alone with a 26-year-old man. Doesn't make sense. Moms and dads, y'all got to be more proactive. You got to be more diligent when it comes to protecting your babies. That's crazy. I wouldn't have done it. No way possible. No way possible. And I know the parents got to be feeling some kind of guilt. That's crazy. I mean... In my mind, why take a chance? Take the baby with you. You going to the store? Take the baby with you. Take him with you. This is a hard one right here. And then, and the father, another thing, you know, yeah, okay, give him props that he got on duty. He whooped up on him. But I find it hard to congratulate him, though, because... Number one, he was negligent. Number two, he should have killed him. I mean, kill him. Man, man, hey, man, it's few, few things that deserve a response of murder than the molestation of your child. Oh, man, you got to get him. You got to get him for that. Gotta get him. Hey, man, you honor, man. Hey, man, I did it. I step up. You honor. Yeah, I did it. 
I did it. I ain't no even no faking with this one. I get up on the stand. Yeah, I did it. That's crazy. The neighbor need his ass whooped too for stopping it. Now we got to pay for this fool. We got to use our tax dollars to pay to house and feed this clown. Don't make a lot of sense to me. Beat him with a draw. That was pretty. That was pretty ingenuous. That was that was different. That was unique. That was a that was a unique choice of weapons. That was a unique choice of attack weaponry. You get props for that. I can always appreciate somebody who think outside of the box when they whipping ass. Yeah. So he get props for that. But the parents, man, come on, man. Be your child with a 26-year-old man, especially a non-biological man. Come on, male, not even man, but male. Because a lot of these kids are doing the same thing too. These kids are raping kids today. You can't even leave your child with little children. That's situations when my daughter was in elementary, some little old kid was, went to the YMCA for a summer program. And he was a mild man of child, real good kid. Nice, respectful kid. And then I think he was like, what, what was he, like second grade, I believe. I think they were in the second grade, yeah. Little kid come back to school for the new school year. Totally different. He's acting real weird. He's cursing now. He's, you know, being confrontational. So you got to pay attention to your kids. You got to pay real close attention to your kids because if your kid is ever molested, there's going to be a switch in their attitude. It's going to be a switch. And sometimes you might just chalk it up to them acting out, but, or them withdrawing. Because sometimes, you know, they act, you know, it, it's, it's, a lot of times it's, it's, an, it, it's an extreme. They acting out or they become an introvert. Get really quiet, quiet and, you know, don't want to go outside and, you know, don't want to play and don't want to do the things that they used to do. So you got to be very, very watchful with your children because these, these predators, man, they're out there and they are on the job and they looking and they searching and they hunting and any opportunity they get, they're going to go in on you. They looking. A dude going to likely get a second beating in jail. I'm sure they're going to whoop up on him real good in there. That's how they do it in jail. They'll get you if you mess with these kids. Now, yeah, they'll, they'll get you real good if they find out you're messing with those kids. Real good. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, he's going to get it. But I just sit back, man, I think about all the people that's been damaged by sexual assault, molestation, rape. And I just think, man, I wonder how much better would the world be if we eliminated that problem. Now, we're gonna, we still got other problems when we got some big ones. Damn, we got some big ones to address. But imagine if we could just get rid of that prop, get rid of that one. Because, believe it or not, a lot of people who have been sexually assaulted are those people out there running around talking about the outright. They're the outright. They're the white nationalists, this and that. I'm telling you. A lot of these people been sexually assaulted, whole bunch of them. 
And, you know, that's not just say that, you know, majority of people, you know, people that's, has been sexually assaulted are bad people. I don't believe that. That would be like blaming the victim. But a lot of times people that have been sexually assaulted, you know, it makes it very, very hard for them to, to, I guess, have trustful relationships. Once you violate somebody like that, you take somebody's innocence like that, it makes them, it makes it harder for them hard for them to have a trustful relationship and even a normal relationship if there's even a such thing as normal, but just an organic relationship, it makes it very, very hard when somebody has been violated. So I just think that they should just turn it, turn really, really turn up on people that take people's innocence, take little children's innocence. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't rock like that at all. Like I don't, I have no sympathy for those type of cats. Another thing too that I checked out when I first saw the photo of dude with the black eye. First thing coming to my mind is hell. Why he don't have two black eyes? I don't think I could have let him make it without at least two black eyes. Yeah, I'd have to close at least both of those eyes. Had to do something to that nose, that mouth. Yeah, I'd have broke him up pretty good. I, if it had been me, I don't think he would have survived. I don't think it, it would have been. The whole neighborhood wouldn't have been enough to get me off a dude. Yeah, I, I don't think he would have survived had it been me. But I got to give a father props one more time for that damn choice of weapon. A dresser drop. Who the hell gets beat with a dresser drop? Who the hell uses, who, who thinks of using a dresser drawer out of all the weapons you can use? Who thinks of using a dresser drawer? Pretty ingenious. Very unique. Still baffled. But I guess when you're angry and somebody has violated your baby girl, any weapon will do. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.